Well, you know, they have cited IU to be in a race that just looks um, as, well, with arrogance, it's a, it's a star-studded <laughs> contest. I don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. What, what is it? Is it a good thing? You know, uh, our friend Bob Baffert says that it's maybe going to be the toughest world, uh, world Cup ever, and I have trouble arguing with his, with his assessment. Of course, one of the reasons is the horse he plans to lead over to the starting gate, uh, and deservedly so. He's one of the best in history. First up, though, about your horse, um, how excited just to be part of it, and, and what are your expectations then taking on, on a horse like Eric? Well, um, here's the good and the bad of it. Our horse has never done better. Um, he's coming off the best race in his lifetime in the Pegasus uh, from a numbers standpoint. Um, conversely, it's not, a, it's not a secret here in Dubai that this is a rather a speed-favoring racing surface, uh, which is not something we're keen for. Uh, excuse the expression. Um, so we're going to have to figure out a way to be close enough as we turn for home to let our running in the stretch do the job. What, what are then, in terms of your horse, your realistic expectations? Can you find a way of beating Arrogate? Well, first of all, I'd sign a contract for third place right now. <laughs> that would be fine with me. You know, because of the generosity of Sheikh Mohammed and the size of the purses here, um, it, it's better uh, placing here than uh, winning in most contests. So um, I'm not focused on Airgate. He's he may be the best horse of my lifetime, and uh, if he runs his race, nobody's going to touch him. That's just the simple fact of the matter. Uh, if he should miss the break or something crazy like that, and and Gunrunner or Neolithic um, get to the lead uh, on the inside, that appears to have been the the formula here. Well, then he's going to have to do some running, but he's certainly capable of doing the running he would need. Um, how has your horse been since you've been here? Could you, the team very happy? Extremely happy, yeah. Um, his coat looks great. You could just see when he was on the racetrack how he was bouncing along. Um, but he, he's a good feeling horse. He, as long as you give him his own way, he's, he's kind of uh, kind of a roughneck that way. <laughs> Likes to be, be sure everybody knows that he's in charge. But I mean, obviously, you dream the dream. Um, but sort, of, sort of mixed feelings. If Arrogant doesn't run well, people saying, well, what's gone wrong? See, you, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Yeah, well, we've lived through that before. <laughs> um, a little race called the Travers at Saratoga when uh, Keen Ice beat uh, American Pharaoh. Um, the immediate conclusion was that American Pharaoh had done something wrong when, in fact, he ran his best speed numbers lifetime that day. Um, but look, I, that, I'd love to have that problem <laughs> of, of having to explain on Saturday. <laughs> and, and for you as a long-standing owner, what would it mean to then win the Dubai World Cup with, with a horse like Keen Eyes? Well, you know, it's on that special list, that special bucket list of races um, that are extraordinary accomplishments, as, as was the Travers for this horse, um, beating the Triple Crown winner. So um, it, it's as big as it gets. And re realistic, you think, one, two, three, well, two or three, or what? If, two, three, four? Fine. Uh, I'll be uh, I'll, I'll be smiling if that's the case. I, I feel like I'm spending way too much time talking about Airgate. I should let Baffert worry about that. <laughs> well, in, enjoy the race anyway, and hope you do come. Well, maybe even first. Thank thank you so much. We thank you. we take that. Thank you.